What happens when a country of the size of India has over 3 million children living on the streets or has over 150 million children working as bonded laborer or one out of every six girls do not live to see her 15th birthday? What happens when despite having a national policy for compulsory primary education, only 50% of children have access to education? Even if they do get access to education, the rate of school dropouts amongst students is very high. One of the main reasons behind this is poverty. When earning a livelihood, and taking care of the members of the family becomes a primary matter of concern in one's life, education stands a little or very often no chance of pursuance. For the underprivileged people in India, education is perceived as high-priced luxury and his negative outlook continues with every new generation. India is a great country, but a shabby foundation in primary education can overturn the lives, careers and productivity of millions of its citizens. Already a considerable proportion of the adult workforce in India is acutely under-equipped to be eligible for skilled and semi-skilled jobs. In order to build India as a consumer market of global standards, it is very important that every child reaps the benefit of quality education. ASHA started in 1991 in Berkeley, California to promote basic education for poor and underprivileged children in India. Since then, it has grown in strength and number, and today ASHA has over 66 chapters across the world. The reason of their growth is their transparency in work and amazing volunteers. No project is funded without a site visit by the volunteer or objective party. ASHA conducts periodic audits of the project and its use of funds. Their mission is not only to look at issues concerning access to education, but also to ensure that every child has access to an education that is meaningful. Let's look at the project supported by ASHA. It's Alcott Memorial School, which is serving the needs of the slum children in and around Basant Nagar in Chennai. This school provides a range of services beyond formal education, like healthcare, nutritional oversight, a midday meal, counseling services for those with special needs, an English lab, and a healthy breakfast that helps sustain children's energy levels for learning. Sharda Niketan School, which is dedicated to improve the lives of at-risk children in the United States and India. The project serves a population including orphans, street children, and those infected with or affected by HIV in Andhra Pradesh. Hippocampus Reading Foundation. ASHA supports the one-time investment in self-sustaining supplemental education centers in rural areas where local women are empowered as teachers, provide supplementary education to 25 to 40 children per center, and help them improve their capacity to learn and do better in school. HOPE, which is a non-profit organization dedicated to welfare of the mentally challenged children. It operates daycare and residential centers for children with mental disability. They provide tailor-made educational program to these students with basic life skills and fundamental concepts that will help them function as independently as possible on a day-to-day -day basis. Grow with books. 
Grow with Books project is part of the school intervention program of Doorstep School designed towards enhancing the reading ability of children and help them overcome the reading barriers and inculcate the habit of reading in them. Seed This project aims to educate children of prisoners, terminally ill patients and murder victims. SEED provides lodging, clothing and education of more than 270 children in the age group of 3 years to 18 years. They provide both standard education and vocational training.